My name is Mo Jamshidi. Uh, I'm a Deputy Director for Operations for Nebraska Department of Transportation. Um, basically, I coordinate all the operations within the DOT, uh, all eight districts, and, and construction operations divisions. But normally, when we deal with disasters, there's a localized flooding, fire, what have you, tornadoes, and things like, like that. Uh, the 2019 flooding really was across the state impacted. Uh, we have a lot of systems in place, we have a lot of processes in place, and to get them all activated all at the same time across the state, um, it, was, it was very challenging. My name is Jesse Schultz. I am a meteorologist for the Nebraska Department of Transportation. Uh, my job is to help coordinate um, with the districts and the public the impact that um, all types of weather have, so whether that be wind, dust, um, winter weather, or flooding as we're talking about today. So the flooding of 2019 really brought um, a great impact to the state of Nebraska and from that we kind of learned that we were underprepared for just the scale or the magnitude of the flooding. We talked about how no two storm systems are ever the same. Everything is going to be different from the uh, amount of rainfall to how it falls to the intensity and we wanted to map a way to um, how to quantify a storm system and how uh, impactful it will be. We wanted to be more proactive in our flood response rather than reactive as we've been in the past. Well, we had a uh, a number of meetings, brought everybody from across the state, and we asked those uh, critical questions from the early responders all the way to the end when the project was completed. For three days of uh, brainstorming sessions, if you will, we really came across uh, four major areas that we needed to concentrate on. Four task forces together to deal with those four areas. So the goal of the task force was to come up with a way to quantify exactly how severe a flooding event will be and how do we um, alert the districts and the public to the impending weather. I'm Julia Ramirez. I work at Nebraska DOT and I'm a hydraulic engineer for roadway design. And basically we provide guidance for our designers and engineers on how they design storm sewers or culverts. And the biggest part is doing our drainage reviews, which will calculate how much flow and how much drainage will contribute to the highway uh, storm sewer or culvert system. So we would use the rainfall event as one of the biggest criteria. What kind of storm event is it? And then, you know, what are the other things that come into play when there's flooding? So is the ground saturated? Is it frozen? You know, during 2019, we saw those things and we saw the streams were already impacted and flooded. The other things are where the, where the district knows that the roads are already you know, vulnerable. And so we would in, uh, pull input from the district to, you know, determine where those locations are and if the rainfall event is going to fall over that, you know, those are items that would uh, score the event higher and it would give it a, a bigger number where we would respond to that, that rainfall event. It really brought together the team and how different areas all work together. There's the bridge and highway design, there's the districts that are actually responding to it. We're all on the same page of where um, the flooding happens and how we need to respond to that. So whether that be redesigning the road or putting barriers or message boards ahead of time. So the matrix is going to help us identify these items and, and work with the district, the meteorologists, our hydraulic engineers, and other staff who can uh, pinpoint these. These will improve our, our process and react to those storms and it builds you know, camaraderie between us and we're trying to identify these things so that the people in Nebraska you know, don't drive through flooded roadways. Or we could also eventually identify the roads that are continuously being flooded and maybe we need to do something at those locations to improve, improve that so that Nebraskans can continue to get to where they need to be safely.